Morning guys, Merry Christmas. I hope you're having a fantastic time. I've been fancying muesli for so long now. I've finally got some in. I was thinking, how do I make it Christmassy? I'm hoping that the cranberries um, <laughs> do a little something. Added in some pumpkin seeds at the last minute. I realized a little bit of green in there would help the thumbnail and the, you know, the Instagram photo. Bit more milk. I was just trying to make it look handsome, you see. I'm just trying to make it look handsome before. That's the reason I hid the flax meal underneath the uh, muesli as well. Let's give this a go. Oh God, you. Christmas time when I was a lad, there was always some cheese and pickles floating around. So I'm trying to recreate that in a healthy, cruelty-free way. So I've got these cogs, three grains and three seeds crisp breads, Thai cheese, which is cashew nut based. And above the old Branston pickle, some people call it plowman's pickle. Bon appetito. Mm. That brings back some memories. Look at these, I've got this one here. <laughs> Just come along to wish you a Merry Christmas. Yeah. Uh, from all of us here at Hench Herbivore Headquarters, including Cowboy, she said Meowy Catmus. Just thanks for your support over the last year. You know, in terms of like buying our books, courses, uh, affiliate stuff, you know, with Vivo Life, CBD stuff as well with Honest Hemp. And just commenting, you know, liking, sharing, all of that really helps as yeah. well. You know, we, we need all of that the stuff. Subscriptions, notification bell squad. We likely won't do another vlog beforehand, so we'll also wish you a very happy new year. Yeah. Right now as well. Happy New Year. And have you got my guys got any like resolutions for the new year? Like comment below. A lot of people set resolutions for the new year and then, you know, a week later it's gone. It's forgotten about, you know. That's nearly everyone, isn't it, in yeah. my experience. Yes. Some reasons why resolutions don't stick. People sometimes they'll say, oh, I'd like to do this certain thing. Then they don't think about it anymore. They don't regularly check in on the progress of their goal and they don't make it a must, you know? If something's like, oh, I wouldn't mind getting in shape, you know, it doesn't happen. If you make it a must, I have to do this thing. And then you create rituals and habits every day. It's easier to succeed with those kind of things. And also if you have goals, it's helpful to have some knowledge from people who have some experience who can help and to guide you, you know, to meet those goals. In the new year, a lot of people have the resolution of getting in shape. So it's like weight loss or muscle gain. And a lot of it is because over Christmas, they've really eaten some poor things, you know, and drank alcohol and that kind of thing. We're not judging, but that tends to be what happens. New year comes, oh, I wanna get in shape now. So we've decided to put our ultimate guide to plant-based nutrition course at 40% off just until the new year just a few days literally until the end of the month we figure if you know if you want to get into shape you want some guidance you know you want the Facebook groups you're accountable you can share your goals you've got some expert advice about what to do like how to do it update your progress as well like be accountable like like sign in and let people know yeah how it's yeah. going that's where you've gone wrong so far you need to be held accountable that's my number one tip yeah for sure and just to have some real good advice we figure if you're not going to do it by the new year you're not going to do it so it's a, like a limited time thing yeah. we want you guys to succeed with any goals you have not just for your physical appearance but for your health which you can't see always what's going on inside yeah. you know so why not invest really in yourself so that you can have a year where you feel the best that you can feel is so important. This course is like all our knowledge is so I've combined nearly 20 years, you know, for me it's nutrition, um, physique stuff like fat loss, muscle building. You've got some great recipes in there and just knowledge on how to put meals together. and. Yeah, just what you should be eating and when and ha how to go about the whole thing, how to plan it and how to basically succeed. It's basically all of our knowledge, 14 succinct videos, there's downloadable, printable PDFs, like checklists, a uh, complete nutrition guide for all ages, all stages of life. So the whole family is thriving. Three cookbooks. And all three cookbooks are in there, including Speedy Vegan. So 40% off until the new year. Check it out now. <laughs> <laughs> he agreed, he liked it. <laughs> Hug me if you're getting it. <laughs> Riding along in a Christmas tree, it's a Christmas kind of Christmas. What are you making Christmas dinner? Yeah. Oh, you got a hat and all that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't put my hat on, damn it. It's Christmas. 
So last year I discovered the wonders of Tofurky. They're not doing it in the UK anymore, which uh, I'm very sad about. I found it delicious, but I've got this uh, vegan, Terra Vegan. It's the same sort of thing. This is uh, seitan, but with, with oats. I have it on very good authority that this is very delicious as a take or replacement, but Gemma's not having that, are you? No, I'm making myself a lentil loaf. Now I'm kind of making this up as I go along. I've made something similar before, but this is gonna have different things like ch uh, chestnuts and cranberries, which will be, you know, Christmas So we'll just have to see how it turns out, basically. Food processor. Food, food processor. Did I say it right? She's again. Oh God, I haven't had any drinks. 100 grams of rice. 100 grams is what it weighs dried, and this has been cooked. And that's brown rice, isn't it? Yeah. Healthy. Some gourmet chestnuts. That's the uh, mofo gourmet shiz. I had to censor so many words then. Uh, put in some amount. H let's put half, half a bag. How big's the bag? The bag is. 180 grams. 180! The cat has come. Hey, cowboy. You okay? Cowboy. You on candid camera. They don't care. Can of lentils. Can of lentils, yeah. Rinsing the box off. Yeah, get all the liquid out, because you don't, oh, and this. <laughs> don't want yeah, that in there. swallow that. You don't want it too moist in there because it'll take too long to cook. No, I like it nice and moist, conversely. Cranberries, sugar free. Get sugar free ones. Put about half again. 62 and a half grams. That's precise. <laughs> so I'm going to put a bit of parsley. Parsley. What's that, a couple of teaspoons? Mm, one teaspoon. Yeah. A few twists of pepper. Teaspoon of expired rosemary. Expired rosemary. <laughs> Is this Christmassy? Margarine. Why not? Margarine. Margarine. About half a teaspoon of that. Transfer it to a large bowl. So I'm going to add some peppers in there. Christmassy peppers, we'll say. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, sort of red and green. Yeah. If you know what I mean. So they're frozen just because, you know. It's easier to have some frozen vegetables to hand these days. We have a lot of fro more frozen stuff than we used to, don't we now? Well, yeah, since you've done that speedy vegan cookbook, we've yeah. been lambered with them. <laughs> no, I just I like it now. Nothing goes off. Okay, I'm just gonna see how moist it is. Oh, uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna add some breadcrumbs. So these are brown rice breadcrumbs. And how much are you adding? I'm gonna go for 20 grams. I'm gonna make a bit of a glaze to go on top. Again, I'm just making this up as I go, as I go along. So, I should probably weigh this, shouldn't I? So you know how much is in there, in case you want to make it. Let's go for 71, <laughs> 71 grams of passata. About a tablespoon of tomato puree. Cute cat. Yeah, about a teaspoon of paprika and about a teaspoon of maple syrup. Now I'm using that because I would usually just blend in a couple of dates. However, I can't eat dates at the minute on this low FODMAP diet that I'm doing. So I'm having a touch of maple syrup. And this whole loaf is low FODMAP friendly. So if anyone's following that kind of diet, you can have it. Preheat the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. That's 400 Fahrenheit. So I've got a tin that's about a similar size to a loaf pan. I'm gonna line it with parchment paper. And then we're going to stuff in our mixture. And now I'm going to add the glaze on top. So I'm going to trim off some of this. I'm going to cover it in tin foil. Now place it in the oven for one hour. Now I'm going to put on some roast potatoes. I'm obviously not going to make them with oil. I'm just going to chop them up and pop them in the air fryer. It's small. Yeah. Well, just time's getting on, so I want to make sure that we yeah. we get them done. That's all. I'm going to cook those at 200 degrees for 25 minutes. I hope this is as good as people make out. Yeah, me too. Don't about tofu, not 
take it and repay it. That's weird. What are they thinking? Yeah. Looks like meat, doesn't it? Looks busy. Gonna put that into the preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Vegetables. And gravy. Vegetables and gravy. Let's see what we got in the fridge. We don't have leeks very often, do we? No, have we leak. should have them more. Yeah. We always have a bit of broccoli at Christmas and a carrot. A bit of cauliflower. Yeah, this seems like the sort of stuff. Um, carrots, green beans. Yeah. Sweet corn. Green yeah. beans and sweet corn. Yeah, if yeah. I have to. You set up to have what you want. I love green beans. They're my favourite. You know what we need right now, don't you? A chopping robot. Some um, Christmas music. You've got those at a jaunty angle. Yeah, let's make them look a bit interesting. If you haven't got two trays full of vegetables, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> now for the gravy. Hang on. Oh, I'm getting too hot in this hat. Sorry, Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> upset Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Chickpea flour. So I'm going to do 60 grams in a pan. I'm going to lightly toast it. You want to make sure you don't burn it, that's really important. You'll start to like smell it, it'll start to smell really interesting and you want to catch it and turn it off like just you know as it's starting to get a tiny bit of colour. I'm going to chop up some shallots now. So little though, so annoyingly fiddly to chop. I'm going to add 500 mils of vegetable stock to the flour, also the onions, some black pepper, a teaspoon of rosemary, and some tamari. How much you add is obviously up to you. The more you add, the more brown it'll go, but obviously it'll be more salty, so just bear that in mind. Now I'm gonna make some cashew cream. We're gonna use some of it with a vegan Christmas pudding that we got kindly gifted, and the rest in a savory dish that we're making later on today. So it's really simple. We're gonna put 240 mils of water into the blender and 150 grams of cashews. And blend until smooth. Made it look all nice for the gram and for the thumbnail, but of course, being a bodybuilder, I gotta have more food. I'll have a bit more of this gravy as well. Oh yeah. Right, let's try this turkey replacement. It's very nice. Mostly seitan, it's got a bit of oats in there, so it's gonna have a metric ton of protein. That's really good. It's not as good as the tofurkey. Aww. So I'm a bit gutted that I can't get that in the UK now, but had I not have had tofurkey, I would have thought this was amazing. So I can't complain. Gravy's turned out nice. It's pretty whole foods based, isn't it? And some lovely roast spuds. Can't beat it. What have you got, madam? Oh, God damn. Yeah, I'm going to try out this bad boy. Very excited. You like bad boys, don't you? <laughs> no, I mean. no comment. Is it blowing it? <laughs> How's that? Mm. It's really nice. It tastes really herby. I just try and have a bit. <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> is it Christmassy? Mm. It is Christmassy, yeah. That is really nice. I like the glaze on top. Yep. I thought about not putting one, but yeah. Seems interesting, doesn't it? Mm. Is there extra so I can probably tr have to have some tomorrow? Yeah. yeah. Oh. For sure. If you're not eating a low FODMAP diet, you could put onions and garlic in there. That would make it really nice. And you could even put some nuts in, take out a bit of the brown rice. That would also make it really good. Put some nuts in. I've got a lovely Christmas pudding for dessert from my lovely friends Batty and Who. They're on Instagram if you want to check them out. They're lovely vegan gluten-free bakers here in Norwich. Hi ladies, thank you so much. They often uh, yeah. give us one of these most the years, don't they? Yeah, so kind of you. Really nice. Mm. Smelled good when you just microwaved it. It doesn't suck being vegan, guys, I can tell you. <laughs> How much of that are you going to eat? <laughs> That's a silly question. <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> <laughs>
Christmas dinner dinner, not dinner meaning lunch. Dinner 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 dinner, Batman, did you used to say that at school? <laughs> and running on. Um, <laughs> I want to try something new. My friend, uh, Slovak, his name's not really Slovak, it's Michael, but he's from Slovakia. He says that their traditional um, Christmas dinner is a mushroom soup. Why not? So we've got this funky one, Smithy Mushrooms. Did we find this in Tesco? All kind of different exotic ones. I've not tried many mushrooms and they are super healthy for you. So let's give it a bash. I'm making mushroom soup. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I said what I was making. Oh yeah, I kind of did the night. Ignore me, ignore me doing this. I'd like to say I'm so I need to have a drink yet. <laughs> Chop some shallots, carrots and celery. Then I'm going to add some mushies in. They look really fancy, don't they? All yeah. Different ones. It's not a funny mushroom, is it? <laughs> Let's hope so, hey. <laughs> Steam fry the veggies until soft. Then add in some finely chopped garlic and cook for a further one minute. Now add in half a teaspoon of smoked paprika and two teaspoons of onion powder. Cook for a further one minute. Now add in plenty of vegetable stock. Two teaspoons of tomato paste. <laughs> Again on the spoon. Three bay leaves. Two teaspoons of dried parsley. Two teaspoons of miso paste. And a pinch of black pepper. An optional extra, I'm having it because I'm a bodybuilder, is a load of legumes. Bring to the boil and simmer covered for 20 minutes. Okay, so that's about good. So now we take it off the heat. And we're going to add in six tablespoons of the cashew cream that Jen made earlier today. And two tablespoons of lemon juice. And stir through. It's about that time in the evening where I like to take my CBD oil. I don't talk about this stuff very often, but I should. I take it every day. I'm on the maximum dose because I find it so useful. It it raises a lot of pain in my body that I get from like heavy weight training now in the joints. Keeps me calm and relaxed for public speaking, for broadcast, all that kind of stuff. And I really love it. You can get 30% off with code HENSTBD30 off your first order, which is massive. 15% off subsequent orders, code HENSTBD15. Link below, check them out if you want it. Ho, ho, ho. Let's try this soup out. Yum. Yeah. That's delicious. Got this from uh, Dan Butner, you know, the Blue Zones guy. Check him out on the gram if you want to. He's trying some mushrooms that I've never eaten before. Yeah, what are they like? Nice. There'll be some unique nutrients in there that I've not had before, so they'll be uh, becoming part of my body. That's very interesting. I've got whole grain toast. I like a bit of toast with my soup. Are you the same, Jim? Yeah. Yep. Mmm, that's lovely. For dessert, I have this pretty much every night. Still feels like a treat though. Got some lovely medjool dates. Because I'm a bodybuilder, I get to eat loads of them. And I've got tons of almond butter as well. Loads of vitamin E, loads of deliciousness. Well, I hope we've inspired you to move more, to eat well. And you have nothing left to say, but a very Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Be nice to turkeys or I'll come round and do ya. Now click this.